What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So today we're going to talk about how to use styles to quickly see which faces have the front side and the back side facing outward. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So every face in a SketchUp model has a front side and a back side. So like for example, if I was to come in and draw a rectangle just like this, and then I was to click on it, if you were to go to the entity info information it would give you two options for faces on this object you've got the front face and you've got the back face and so if you see if I look at this face right here it's kind of a darker color and if I rotate under this face is a lighter color so the lighter color is always the front side in a SketchUp model or by default the lighter color is the front side in a SketchUp model and so what that means is you can apply different textures to the front face and to the back face just like this. Each face acts as its own kind of entity in the sense that it can have its own materials and stuff like that. So that's going to be important, especially when you're working with programs like rendering programs, because they don't always render the back side of an object the same as the front side of an object. So the back side of an object, sometimes if you have that facing out, will give you a lot of material distortions and stuff like that. So it's important, and it's also a good modeling practice to just kind of try to have the front side of an object facing your camera at all times. So this is a model that I downloaded from the 3D Warehouse. It's called Urban Apartments or Lofts by Doug, Dougio P. And it's it's modeled fairly well in here, but if what we wanna do is we wanna come in here and we wanna double check and see if all the faces are facing the right way. So, and it's kinda of hard to do that without coming in here and clicking on individual faces and then looking and seeing if the front side or the back side is the one that has a material applied to it, stuff like that. So that could be a little time consuming trying to track things down like that. And a lot of the time when you get models from the 3D warehouse, the materials aren't always applied to the right face just because it really doesn't matter um, as long as you're not coming in here and rendering this or doing some other things. Uh, if you're just kind of drawing a model, then uh, it doesn't always, it's not always a big deal for you to have the correct faces facing out. But um, let's say we were going to take this and we were going to run it through Twilight Render or V-Ray or something like that. It's probably going to be important that the correct faces are facing outward. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the Styles section of our tray. So the Styles section of your tray, um, if you can't see your tray, go up to Window, Default Tray, and click on Show Tray. And then make sure the box for styles is checked so that this shows up. And then you can just find it on the list right here and click the little arrow to expand it. Well, what you're going to do is you're going to come in here and you want to select the edit tab of the styles section. And what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the face settings of the way SketchUp showing our faces. So there's several different boxes in here. There's one for edges. There's one for background. You want to click on this second one, which is the face settings. And so once you click on that, um, there's a series of little boxes down here that let you adjust the way this style looks. And so what we want to do is we want to come over and we want to select this little box that has kind of a gray color on the bottom and a blue color on the top just like this. And what that's going to do when we click on that is that's going to take all of your faces and it's basically just going to show front side and back side. So it's not going to show any materials that are applied to them or anything like that. It's literally only going to shade this with the front color and the back color just like this. So now you can come in here and you can see that for the most part um, the right faces are facing outward but um, there's a few faces in here that uh, mostly on this top level that have the uh, that have the back face facing out and so what you can do is you can come in here and you can select them by doing a shift click on the faces and then you can just right click and you can select reverse faces just like this and that'll flip those faces so that the correct ma the the front side is facing out and a quick note if you switch this back to materials you may have to come back in and reapply some textures in here um, so it's really a better practice to just model everything the right way to begin with but sometimes when you download models from the warehouse and stuff like that you just can't do that so you can use that to quickly and easily see which faces are facing outward but on the other hand, it can also be a little difficult with the way things are kind of shaded and stuff like that to really be 100% sure what some of these faces are um, from a front side, back side, because it just looks like the light's coming off in a different way and that kind of thing. Well, what you can do is you can come in here and you can change your back color in this style. So you can come in here to back color. You can click on this box and you can come over here and you can select a red color 
and click OK. Well, what that's going to do is that's going to take all the faces in your model that have the back side facing out, and that's going to make them red. So now it's very clear which objects have the front side facing out and which objects have the back side facing out. So this is a real quick, easy way to figure that out. You can go in here and you can uh, save this as a new style if you want to, or you can just update this style and just kind of model with the default back color to be red. So it's a real quick, easy way to keep track of what's facing out and what isn't, that kind of thing. And then once you uh, want to go back to your materials, just come in here to your style and just select display shaded using texture, which is what's in there by default. And you can see how you're back to having your materials in here just like that. So that's where I'm going to wrap up this quick tip. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Did you know about this? Uh, do you have a better way to do this? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider um, visiting my support me page on my website. That's the sketchupessentials.com slash support or by clicking the link down below. That's got everything from from uh, some extensions you can buy to help support the show to links to my Patreon page. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.